Howdy howdy, Chris here. We're back in the garage and today we're mixing and applying primer. Today we're continuing the Back to the Basics series. These videos are designed for the beginner, auto body, and paint tech. I'm making these videos as a quick reference guide for specific topics to help you build your skill. So let's dig in and get started. Okay, today we're going to mix up some primer. I'm going to share with you how to mix up some primer. This is part of the uh, Back to Basics series where I kind of give you a guideline of how to do the basics of auto body and paint repair. Today we're mixing up some primer. We've got some U-Pole high build primer. And what's great about this particular primer is it can be used for three different products. It can be used for a high build primer. So if you're going over some body work and you need a little bit of a build up to block it out, you can use this as a four to one mixing ratio. You could use it as a primer surfacer. So if you take a little bit of extra time on your body work and you got it perfectly straight, but you just need to get primer over it. So you want a thinner primer, you can use this as a primer surfacer. And that mixes up four parts primer, one part activator, and one part urethane reducer. Now you can also use this as a sealer, a 2K sealer. And that mixing ratio is four parts primer, one part activator, and two parts urethane reducer. As a bonus, you can also tint this. So you could tint this with your base coat. If, you, if you're using a solvent base coat, you can tint this primer you can add up to 10% of color to this primer. So then your sealer is going to be part of your coverage process when you're painting. You really want to make sure you get a good mix on your primer before you start pouring. Now I've got a mixing lid attached to my gallon can and I just hook up my drill to it and that gives me a good mix before I start pouring. I'll show you how we use these mixing cups. This is a smaller size cup, but these are disposable paint cups. This is the Series 1 system. The Series 1 has to do with the a, adapter that you use for the top. This takes the Series 1 adapter, which is the first adapter that they came out with. So a lot of different aftermarket companies make these disposable cup systems, and the cost has come way down. So, but how you read this cup is our product mixes up 4 to 1. So whatever product you're using, you find the mixing ratio. So the paint I use mixes up 2 to 1. So I would use this ratio here. But in this case, we're doing four to one. So we're going to add our um, the amount of primer we want. If we're going to go to the two and fill it up with a primer on the two, on our one ratio, we're going to need to go to the two with our activator. If we're doing a primer surfacer, the four to one to one mixing ratio, we'll go to the two with the... And that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to use the four to one to one mixing ratio. We don't need a real thick primer. I'm going to fill up the primer to the one because we don't need a ton of primer. So there's the amount of primer we need. Now we're going to use our activator. I'm going to use the standard activator here. And we'll go to the second column here, the one ratio, and fill it up to the corresponding one. Now we're using urethane reducer. And we're going to go to the third column, fill up to the coordinating one there. Now we have a four to one to one mixing ratio. We want to stir this up really well. We want to stir it up really well so it has a consistent viscosity. We lock on this lid. This lid just snaps on. I always like to lift it up, make sure it's sealed. We add our collar. The gun I'm using today is the R500. This is a low volume, low pressure paint gun. So it consumes less air and it produces less overspray. That's why I like to use this for my primer. And I also use it for my basin clear as well. This is outfitted with a 1.5 cap. We've already went ahead and washed this. We don't need a ton of air pressure. I don't want overspray going everywhere. So I'm not even pulling the trigger all the way because I don't need to. I just want two good coats of primer on it. So we've got the fan pattern wide open. We just want a consistent speed and consistent distance from the panel. We want our primer to be as smooth as possible. And we want to overlap our passes about 70-80%. This is all going to get block sanded out, remember. So we're going to put one coat on, let it flash off, and start to cure. And basically flash, when I say I, I want it to flash off, what I mean is I want it to start drying. I don't want it to be wet anymore. So what's happening when it's flashing is those chemicals are evaporating out of the primer and it's starting to cure. When it's when it starts to get a dull finish, add another coat after it starts to flash off.
any areas that I've broken through the primer, I'm getting covered. And we'll put two coats on those areas. It's dry to the touch. It's flashed off. We're going to add another coat. Now for this 2K primer, we're going to allow this to cure overnight. I like to let it cure overnight. It needs probably a good 12 hours before you can start sanding on it. You might be able to sand it sooner than that, but I like to give it a little bit of time. It does shrink a little bit. So if you can let it sit for a while, a good 24 hours, then that's better. And we may even put one more coat on this just to be safe. If we have enough primer. All right, we'll let that flash off and we'll probably put one more coat. Looks like we got some more primer left. So there it is after two coats. We're going to put one more coat on this. I'm going to do that off camera, but I want to thank you for watching. I hope this information was helpful to you. If it was, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you're interested in any of the products I was using on this video, I'll leave links in the description. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. We'll see you next time on Garage Noise.